Hello and welcome to Common Rider Black Man. So, first off, I definitely had to wait for the tint of my glasses to fade down because I just took Coda out for a walk. Well, well, talking about back. Anywho, yeah, sadly, oh my god, all right, I can. Jason David Frank. It's with a heavy heart, as I can try to say right now on camera, and keep my mind straight. Jason David Frank has sadly passed away. Tommy, the MMPR green, MMPR white, Zeo red, Turbo red, Dino Thunder black, and all around MMA fighter. Yeah. He sadly newses out today that he passed away. Now, naturally, I didn't believe it at first. Matter of fact, I first heard about it on Facebook about how it's most likely all rumors and whatnot. To which I was actually going to side with immediately. That was just all rumors. Until I googled it online and yeah. Saw it on TMZ. Jason David Frank passed away at age 49. Yeah, that's a shock. Passed away at age 49 and apparently by suicide. Yeah. And with a straight face, I can say this right now. Could everyone stop saying that there's a curse with the original cast? Like, there's no fucking curse. Shit just happened. Literally, like, Tui Trang died in a car crash years after she was done on the show. And now with this, like, have some fucking respect for the family. There's no fucking curse, so quit fucking talking as if there was one to begin with. It's like, Jesus. Sorry, I just had to get that outburst out a bit because I saw that a little bit a while, a moment ago. But yeah, JDF is gone. I am trying to get my thoughts together right now about this, like, well, for starters, he's survived by four kids and two ex-wives, but yeah, he's just gone. And I'm throwing this out there right now, I didn't choose to just throw on white for this video, I just threw this on today because I was out and about. Also I like this hoodie because I look good in white. Who do you think could have inspired that? But yeah. It's just looking back on now, a lot of people are definitely divided by JDF. Like either you love them or you hate them, but Honestly, I don't think he was that bad of a guy, and I don't think any real Power Ranger fan is malicious enough to just get over the fact right now that he's gone. Like, he was such a huge part of freaking everyone's childhood. If you're watching this video right now, he played a big part in your childhood for like five seasons. And even going on afterwards for when he comes back for specials and Dino Thunder. It's just. It's a real shock. And now, it's just. Wow. It's just. For fans, I definitely know for fans older than me, because I'm 23 years old, I was born in 99. So my first real exposure to him either had to be from two things, from uh, from reruns of whatever season he was on, 
when I was a little kid, and also Dino Thunder when he came back as the Black Ranger. But just, it just, ooh. It, the feel of hurt still just goes around the exact same. But aside, you no, know, aside from being in shock by this, what did JDF mean, or at least how do I interpret him as a person? Honestly, I think he was just full of life. A lot of people like to give grief saying that he stole focus from other characters and actors, but I never really took it like that. I honestly think for whatever season he was a part of, there was already pre-established personality with the characters, and he just so happened to be there. Even aside from that, he just seemed like an all-around positive person, always fucking full of energy. I know people like that. I get back. I would actually like to imagine JDF hanging out with some energetic guys that I know. They would just be full of life, just like him, or trying to be at his level. And hell, not even he didn't just make an impact. Well, even aside from Power Rangers, JDF is always doing something. Cause hell, he was in MMA for a little bit. So which I needed to pull this up to see right now because he doesn't just know karate. I'm pretty sure he also knows like Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Mother Eleven Muay Thai, one of my favorite martial arts styles. But freaking yeah, he also knows judo and taekwondo. So just yeah, dude is deadly a F and that's just fucking awesome. Not that he's just a damn good fighter, but, well, for starters, yeah, he's a damn good fighter, but at least he used it when, I don't know how to describe it. It's like, we all first learned about Tommy when he was acting and also performing his martial arts, and thankfully, he managed to take that martial arts into other accounts too, like in MMA or in his freaking dojos, which yes, JDF does have. He has his own schools, or so I believe. But yeah, I'm not going to take away the fact that the dude lived his life, his morphin life in that case. Like the dude was, you can't, how, what can you say about a guy that's just so full of energy like, I can't, I don't want to hate on him. And I really can't hate on him. He just seemed like he was full of life. Like, I bet so, like, I don't know what to say, man. Yeah, some outskirts have happened in between, like, beef with ASJ and knocking down Ricardo Medina Jr., but yeah, I don't want to hold, I'm not going to hold that against him. Cause like, we're not, I, we're, we're not going to take away. And I don't think anyone wants to take away any good from a human being with these outspurts. Hell, I'll be fully, let me think about it right now. Bob Saget, he just passed away. Yet. You're gonna think about some of the good that came from him and also some of the bad. Are you gonna mix the two together? No. Are people right harp but are you might gonna talk about it or disrespect them online? Most definitely people will, but with Power Ranger fans, no. Because the one thing Power Rangers showed all of us as fans as how to be good people like the fact that if you know good you do good because it's good it's right that's a lesson that JDF as well as many other actors who have passed away or not have taught us to be good people if you know good you be good and do good that's what I'm going to take away from with JDF
and it's just, huh. The dude was just versatile all around. And even from this past year when he talked about wanting to retire from Power Rangers, I wasn't upset. I genuinely was not upset. The man's like, the man's touching, the man was touching like his early 50s. Let him do other stuff outside from Power Rangers. Because I know there was like that White Dragon movie, which I definitely want to see. And the Lord, Dra that movie with jo Lord Dracon, I think it was like Shattered Grit or something. That movie. I still have yet to see it, but fuck it, I'll check it out. It's freaking JDF and he's, well, it's JDF. Why wouldn't I check it out? <sighs> so, just. With JDF, it's just, there's some, there's something to learn from him. And it's like how to live life. Like, you live life by being you. And it's just, I don't know. You be good and you do good because it is good. It's like, that's what I can take away from JDF. And I'd be saying the exact same thing if any other ranger had recently passed away. But honestly, just, I'm just, I'll be honest right now, with the tech, with the character of Tommy, the moments where he loses or regains his powers, those are the best moments of where that lesson of what I just said stands out. Be good and do good because it is good. Like, even as a Power Ranger or not, he's still a human being who was all around good and did good because it was good. Has he had some faults and some controversy? Yeah, but he's human and I don't, and I'm not gonna hold that against him. Just, ooh. And I thought I was going to go into this video talking about how all the different colors he's been. Hell, he, uh, he and Opera Ranger are one of the reasons why a Brachiosaurus is one of my favorite dinosaurs. So, so I guess I can say thank you there. But yeah, all the just... Yeah, I thought I was going to talk about all the different colors that he's been. Like freaking... Green, freaking white, freaking red, freaking black. This man was a freaking Kwanzaa flag while Summon Ward was just red and blue. But with any consideration, all respect and my condolences, my deepest condolences go to the go to the Frank family. And just, yeah. At least thank you, Jason David Frank, for playing such a part in my life and how to be as a human being. And freaking possibly being one of the openings as to why I like Marshall. Well, I don't, I'll be honest right now. I really like the fact that Jason David Frank likes, I really like the fact that JDF knows more martial arts, especially Muay Thai, one of my favorite styles. Oh, just. My point is, thank you, Jason David Frank, for making an impact on not just my life, but on all of our lives. And to play you out, here you go. All your great moments. It's been a long day without you, my friend And I'll tell you all about it when I see you again We've come a long way from where we began Oh, I'll tell you all about it when I see you again When I see you again Damn all the planes we flew, good things we've been